Hello good day. This day I will teach you on how to fix this common error in your WordPress site specifically in your custom Google search engine border. I encountered this problem in my WordPress site and fixed them. I am using a Google custom search engine on my website. Whenever I use the search box, there are extra borders around it. These do not show in the editor but are seen on the page. If you have the same problem, then this is the right place for you to fix your problem. As you see here in my website, my custom Google search box has an extra line in between which is not usual in Google search box. But before we continue, if you are new to my channel please click subscribe button and the bell button for you to be updated in my tutorials. Ok let us continue, we need to install a WordPress plugin. Just follow the steps in the video. Step 1, go to admin panel in your WordPress site. Step 2, in the left side menu, click plugin and select add new. Step 3, in the search box type WP Google search and wait to display the results. Step 4. Scroll down and find the plugin in the list and select WP Google Search by WebShow Logic. Don't worry this plugin is free. Let us check first the details about this plugin and its reviews from the users. Scroll down to read. Step 5. Ok let us continue, click install now to install the plugin. Wait for minute while the installation is on process. It is now successfully installed. Click active to activate the plugin. To check if the plugin is already activated, check it in your installed plugins. Ok let's check. As you can see I already activated the plugin by WebShow Logic. Step 6. Refresh your browser. In admin left side menu, go to settings and at the bottom select WP Google search. If you would like a Google search feature on your WordPress site, you only need to register to Google custom search, get your Google search engine ID and enter it in the plugin settings here. Then your custom search engine is ready for use, just put the new Google search box widget on the sidebar, and enjoy it. You will get a Google search engine ID and enter this Google search engine ID here. Step 7. 
Open this website in a new tab https slash slash www.google.com slash cse slash If you do not have your custom search engine, you need to create your own first by clicking new search engine button. In site to search, type your own website for example www.mysite.com slash star. Please include the asterisk symbol after the slash symbol. Put any name in the search engine name below. Click Create. To edit, click Edit Search Engine and select your newly created search engine. I have already created my own. Here we will copy the search engine ID or click the copy to clipboard to copy your own search engine ID. Paste it here. If this option is turned on, the search field will appear above the search results. Display content of the links of the result set on new browser tab. If you set on Google CSE admin page that result set is displayed in overlay mode, then also set this checkbox. In this case search results will be displayed without loading a new search result page. If you do not use overlay display mode in GCSE, then clear this checkbox because result set cannot be displayed correctly. Now this is the most important setting. Tick the CSS number 1 and CSS number 3 checkbox and save. Step 9. To place our search box widgets in sidebar, go to admin panel and select appearance and select widgets. At the bottom of the list, a new widget has been created. Simply drag it and drop it wherever you want the search box being displayed. Usually, the search box is located at the top of the sidebar. Click Done. Now let's check our search box in our website. As you can see it looks good. But if we will untick the CSS number 1 back to Google search plugin, then save. Look what happened to our search box. Refresh the page. What happened to the search box? Yes. This is not the usual Google search box. Right? This is helpful especially if you don't know about CSS. 
so we need to tick again the CSS number 1 to fix the problem. And finally click the save button. Refresh the page and it looks good now. Let's check the functionality of our search box, type word you want in the search box and click enter. Look. It is functional. Toggle off the search entire web if you only want your website be displayed in the search results. Otherwise, toggle it on the search the entire web if you would like to augment your results with general web search results. As observed, all of the results are coming from my website. But in my website I would like to extend my search results in other website that is why I will toggle it back on. That's all. Please subscribe like and share this video. Thank you.